What's up, y'all? Everyday Say here. So today, um, I wanted to talk to y'all about like a really serious topic, like for real, for real, because I see this happen a little bit too often. So this weekend, um, we watched me and my me and my girl. We watched a video on um, on Netflix about a man who ended up killing his wife and his two daughters. And I don't remember the title of it, but it's on Netflix. Um, and I want to I want to talk to y'all about men when they mentally check out, right? So a man who has mentally checked out, I wouldn't necessarily say he's dangerous in a relationship, but he's dangerous when he's in a committed relationship, when he's in a when he's in a marriage, when he has kids with someone. He's dangerous then. And the reason why is because when I was watching the video, you know, I seen, you know, the kids and the mother, they would go out of town and he would just ghost mode. Like he would just be gone, like not checking on them, not seeing if they're OK. Like he was refusing sex from her and he was doing all of these things. And something that y'all got to understand is like and, and I've made a video on this before that. A man who refuses sex is probably mentally checked out. If he, if a man just randomly comes out of nowhere, he's like, yo, you know, I think we should just be celibate. Or I think we should just, we shouldn't do this. There's only a couple reasons for that. Either he found God and he, and, and he, and his religious beliefs have changed. And he's trying to live right now. Or he's mentally checked out and that could be from possible stress you know you could have possibly stressed him out to a point where he's mentally checked out like he's not even here anymore he's just he's somewhere else and the problem is that becomes very dangerous that becomes a very dangerous situation now most people that are in a relationship when a guy mentally checks out he's going to leave you or he's probably going to end up cheating on you one of the two things are going to happen but when a man is in a committed relationship and he has children and he feels trapped and he's mentally checked out, that is such a dangerous thing. And if you go look at the documentary, you know, many times where she was like, oh, I'm gonna try to get some tonight, but he refused it. There are times where they went out of town and he didn't check up on the kids. He didn't check up on her. He didn't ask how they were doing. Like he was just, he was there, but he wasn't there. His body was physically there. But his mom wasn't there. His mom was somewhere else. Like, he was always working out. You know, he, he would, you know, abandon time with her and go and work out and just randomly start doing push-ups. That is a sign of a man that's mentally checked out. And it's very, and it's it becomes very, very dangerous when he stops even having concern for the kids. And, and the thing is, is the switch here. The switch from being, it's different if a man, if you met a man and you, you know, he's always been like that. He's just careless. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about the kids. You shouldn't be with him any, anyway. But if he's always shown that kind of side to you, then that's kind of probably how he's going to be. But if a man is lovey-dovey, he's all over you, he's loving y'all and everything else, and then he just... It like it's like a light switch and it just switches and and it doesn't even have to be immediate it can be over time like that light switch can change like that that his behavior can change and he starts to mentally slip away from you and the family like he he stops you know engaging with you he kind of just kind of falls back and the same thing with the kids. He's not as active anymore. He doesn't really check up on the kids. He doesn't really spend time with the kids. Like, that is a man that is mentally checking out. It is. And to be honest with you, you know, sometimes you can pull them back. Sometimes you can pull people back. You know, you got to sit them down and, like, really try to try to get to them. But the, the, the whole issue with trying to pull them back is that he has to want to be pulled back. You know, if he sits here and he, every time you ask him something, he makes excuses, you can't do it. So he has to have a willingness to be pulled back. But what I was saying is that when you start seeing a man mentally check out, 
when a man starts mentally checking out, and like I said, this, you know, in a relationship, typically, you know, if a man is starting to mentally check out, he's either going to break up with you or he's going to cheat on you, or he is cheating on you, one of the two. But in a marriage, in a in a legal relationship, when you see a man start checking out, and you see his behavior, it went from, oh, he was loving on me. He was loving on us. He was doing this. He was doing that. And then it just suddenly, or even over time, slowly starts to drift away to the point where he just does not care about you. He shows that he does not care. Not with just his words, but with his actions. You go somewhere and and you just, you know, he don't check up on you. He don't text you for three, four days. You out of town. He ain't asking how you're doing, where you at. He ain't asking about the kids. He's not worried about the kids. He's not doing none of that. You have to be careful in those situations. Because if you look at the um, if you look at the, the video, he ended up killing his wife. And he ended up killing his kids. And the cra and here's the crazy part. This that whole time. They weren't having any type of intercourse. Like they like it was a whole period where they weren't having intercourse. And then the very night he decided to kill her, he ended up having intercourse with her. And then he killed her like right after that. And I say that to say this. Y'all have to pay and I and I've told and I've said this before. I've said this before to y'all that Everybody is capable. Everybody. I've said this before. I don't care how well you know a person. It doesn't matter if it's a guy, a girl, a grandma. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how well you know a person. Everybody is capable of doing a horrendous crime. Everybody is capable of doing something so far out of pocket. It just doesn't fit into it doesn't even make sense. When they were talking about him, oh, he's such a kind, nice guy. He's just quiet. He keeps to himself. He doesn't, I would never believe that he would do something like that. I would never believe. I would never believe. You have to understand, everybody is capable. And and to be honest with you, that's how people get caught slipping out here in these streets. You get a threat from somebody and you don't take it seriously. And then next thing you know, that person goes through with it and you're unprepared because you didn't think that that person was going to actually do it. So my point is, is that pay attention to your man. If he starts to mentally check out, if he starts to show you signs where, you know, you know, if you see him starting to drift away, there's nothing wrong with coming to him like, hey, what's going on? I kind of feel like this. I feel like that, so on and so forth. But if you see a complete switch up from him, like he does not care. He doesn't act like he cares about you. He, you know, he doesn't want to have, you know, any type of intercourse with you over a long period of time. And it's not based on a belief system or something like that or a medical issue or whatever it could be like pay attention to that. If you guys end up going out of town and y'all don't go together, you know, and he doesn't check on you, pay attention to that. Like when he stops giving attention to you and the kids, pay attention to that. Heed the warning signs, heed what's going on. And I'm not saying that every man that acts like that is going to kill you. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that the situation is going to start becoming dangerous. For you and possibly for your for your mental space, because he might not do that. He might just cheat on you. He might. But I'm telling you guys that to say this, man, pay attention to a man's mental state. We talk about mental health all the time. We talk about being uh, mentally sound, you know, going to go see therapy, going to go see this, going to go talk to somebody, so on and so forth. Y'all got to make sure that y'all are paying attention to y'all man or your woman and paying attention to their mental state. Be cognizant of that. When you see somebody there in not in a in a very well mental space, that is not the best time for you to bring up an argument about him not washing the dishes. That is not the best time for you to sit here and bring up uh uh her not flushing the toilet or her not cleaning the makeup off the sink that is not the time 
when the person is not mentally stable. So pay attention to your partner. Pay attention to their mental state. Pay attention to their actions. Pay attention to how they treat you. And if need be, give them their space. And if you honestly feel like you're in danger, you need to you need to give them time. You need to back away. And I, and one of the things about men is that if honestly if he don't want to be with you, it's going to be clear as day that he does not want to be with you. I'm going to just say right now, if a man if you go out of town and you're with it's you and your kids and the husband does not check on y'all and ask y'all how y'all doing, is everything going all right, so on and so forth, bro, that's a clear sign. That is a clear sign. If he shows no emotion towards you, he doesn't kiss you, he's not touching on you, he's not hugging you, he's not doing any of these things, that's a clear sign. Something is going on up here. Something is going on inside his mind to making him not react in a certain way, for him not to show you emotion, for him not to show you love, especially if you're his wife. So y'all got to pay attention to that. Pay attention to how he, how his mental state is. Pay attention to how he treats you. Because it could very much mean your life. And put nothing past anybody. Everybody is capable. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Peace out.